presented by Church Tech U. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, custom key mappings in ProPresenter 7.7 and newer. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Before we get started, if you've ever wanted to add additional keyboard shortcuts to ProPresenter or maybe change ones that were there already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. So, this is something that they added with ProPresenter 7.7, and it makes it really easy. First off, I should say that I am the creator of the ProPresenter keyboard skin. So I'm big into keyboard shortcuts. When I did the one for ProPresenter 6, I figured out that if I made an entire playlist with keyboard shortcuts, it was literally... And I mean that like the dictionary definition, literally twice as fast to do the exact same um, playlist with keyboard shortcuts than with my mouse. Even if you have a touch screen, you still have to reach up and touch things. So it is still faster even than a touch screen to use keyboard shortcuts because your fingers are on the keyboard and the keyboard is much smaller than your screen. So... With all that said, let me hop into ProPresenter and show you exactly the advantage of being able to change keyboard shortcuts. And, as a bonus, I'm going to show you one that they moved in the UI, and now we can have access to it with the keyboard shortcut. This is something that I did with my Church Tech U members when ProPresenter 7 first came out. So... ProPresenter 7.7. So here we are in um, ProPresenter 7.7, and if we click on ProPresenter and then key mappings right there, uh, the keyboard shortcut for that in macOS is Option K, um, or I bet it's Alt K. I haven't looked at it in Windows yet, but that's what it is. Now notice that I've got a few different options up here. First off, I can reset this key mapping back if I decide, uh oh, I monkeyed around with too much stuff and it's I can't even remember which ones I created, which ones I didn't. No problem. You can just click on that and reset it. I'm not going to do that just yet, but I will show you that that's there. Now I've got uh, a few different choices here. I can do all that shows me everything. Menu, that's these things up here. So if I want to go into, uh, you know, let's say that I don't like option K for key mappings. I want to do something else. I can change it if I want. Or let's say that I want to go directly into preferences and screens. I could just click here. Notice where it says key. That's there. And let's say I want to do command option shift s and that will take me into preferences screens command option shift let me get off of this command option shift s takes me right there so it takes place immediately and if i decide no i don't like that i can just click the x right here and make that go away so that's pretty cool. I can access all these different features down here. One that I think a lot of people missed with the transition from ProPresenter 6 to ProPresenter 7 is the Apply All. Well, it still exists. I've got a tutorial about that. But with key mappings, you can now add uh, your own key mapping if you want. So... Um, Let's go into the edit menu. Let's see here. I think it's in here. Yep, editor menu. And down here, there it is. Apply text style to all slides. Now I'm not saying this is the best keyboard shortcut, but 
since I'm using all these modifier keys, Command, Shift, Option, and then A for Apply, that was not taken. So if I use that a lot, notice that this was hidden in the menu under Editor, under Text, then Apply Text Style to All Slides. So now I've basically surfaced it. I know where that is. Command, Option, Shift, A, and that would work if I was in the editor and I made a change. So that's pretty cool. Uh, something else that I could do is in the show mode, I've got just uh, the things that I would access while I was in show mode, including macros. So if I have a macro that I'm going to need to apply or I want to have a keyboard shortcut for, I can add those. If I want to bring in a prop at certain times, I could have that, uh, which before you would need Companion and a Stream Deck to do that just that easily, but now you can do it all with keyboard shortcuts. Also, it has the hotkeys for groups. So just a quick refresher. Um, if you put your fingers on the home keys, Verses 1 through 6 are A, S, D, F, J, or G, and H. A, S, D, F, G, and H will take you to the home keys there. And um, so that is pretty cool. That's uh, the first six verses. Uh, choruses are C, because chorus starts with C. And then we go to the left this time for X and Z or Z, depending on where you are in the country. And bridges are B, N, and M, and so on. And if you want to get rid of all these, you could just go through and delete them if you find the little letter up here annoying. So if I were to just clear that out, notice that it went away. And if I put it back, which I'm going to do, otherwise I'll confuse myself that I did this sometime in the future. As soon as I get off of that one, then it comes back. So you have a lot of flexibility with this. Um, other things that you might want to know is customized will show you the things that you have customized. So in this case, under all, Notice that I have uh, customized this. I've removed the clear groups one, and I added V for vamp as a hotkey. So it shows me all these. And conflicts, I don't have any conflicts, but if I'd used Control c for something, or Command-C rather, on the Mac, then that would show up here because that's copy. So that would show me there. So that is one of the great things about this is you can go through very quickly and easily and tweak things so that you have exactly the right keyboard shortcuts for your needs. If you like this content, I bet you like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Go ahead, give me your name and email address, and I will make sure that I make a login for you so that you can take that course, which is made up of three or four bite-sized tutorials in your free time. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com, reminding you to go out and change eternity.